all right here we go so all right babe so what do you hate i hate mess you hate mess what else do you hate i hate disorganization you hate disorganization what else do you hate i hate messy people you hate messy people <laughs> what else do you hate um i hate people who compete <laughs> mm, you hate people who compete what else for the wrong hate? reasons because there is some good competition amen amen um what else do you hate i hate um anxiety you hate anxiety what else do you hate i hate being hungry mm. <laughs> you hate being hungry what else do you hate i hate when when you come home without my starbucks <laughs> you hate when i don't come home without your starbucks what else do you hate um i hate struggling mm. you hate struggling what else do you hate um i hate seeing people hurt you hate seeing people hurt there's a lot of hate in your heart <laughs> what else do you hate um we'll stop there we'll stop there amen <laughs> all right well what do you want tell me what you want i want to feel joy you want to feel joy mm -hmm. all right what else do you want i want unity mm. you want unity what else do you want peace you want peace what else do you want um I want to get to a level where our finances are like intact we're yeah. good all of that good stuff finances you want the finances to be non-stop amen mm -hmm. what else do you want um i want my kids to be successful mm -hmm. you want your kids to be successful anything else you want no okay what do you love Tell me what you love. I love you. You better say it me first. <laughs> I love God. Amen. All right, God. I'll pay number two. Right. Number two. Number two. Number uh, two. You love God. Amen. What else do you love? I love our kids. You love our kids. What else do you love? I love our new home. You love our new home. What else do you love? Um, I love a beautiful, clean home. Mm, you love a beautiful, clean home. What I else? love candles. Candles. I love a Range Rover. You love Range Rovers? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> um, I love Starbucks lattes. You love Starbucks lattes? Anything else you love? I love flagging. You love flagging? I love clothes. <laughs> you love clothes? <laughs> yeah. Um, Anything else you love? I love giving to others. Mm, you love giving to others. What else do you love? That's it. That's it? Okay. Honey, what do you stand for this week? Um, Something that's not an action word. Peace. Mm. You stand for peace. Okay. So when I see you not acting so peaceful, I get to check you, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? That wasn't peaceful. <laughs> that was not peaceful. She said, mm hmm mm hmm so we, we already off on the wrong foot <laughs> dang <laughs> she, she was like she was like yeah, mm -hmm, yeah you, gotta, you got boundaries on that peace so i get to check you all right you stand for peace so that means you also hold us accountable for peace in the home as well too so with this exercise how do you feel what was the feeling do you feel relieved do you yeah, feel relieved relieved and empty empty because the reality is, is if you got if you got hate in your heart, you know, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So we got to understand that. So use this exercise. Use this exercise to help you um, in your family, you and your, your wife, your relationship, um, you know, uh, the people in your church, the people in your community, um, you know, your children. Use this exercise. So what would normally happen is we would reverse it. So the other person that was giving the answers would then switch roles and be the facilitator and then i would then go back and say so basically I, I would then ask him all the questions that he just asked me and he would answer the questions right to me exactly right so that's how that that exercise called the shifting exercise really